everyone and welcome back. We had a cloudy start to the day, but now just a couple of thin passing clouds. We're looking off to the uh, west southwest on our Corwin Auto Sky Cam. 62 degrees in Fargo right now, still breezy. Wind is out of the north, 20 miles an hour, gusting to 26. Moorhead currently at 57 degrees and sunset tonight going to be at 827. 56 degrees in Grand Forks, mostly sunny skies and wind out of the north, 17 miles per hour, gusting to 29. We've got lots of 50s on the board today. 51 in Baudet, that's a cool spot today. 52 in Lang and Bemidji, 53 Park Rapids, 54 in Detroit Lakes, 61 in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Satellite and radar trend over the last two hours, we did have a few remnant clouds still moving through Lakes Country and, and there may be a cloud or two, but that trend is to uh, see those clouds moving on out to the south and east over the next hour or so. The wind going to stick around for just a little bit longer, gusting to 23 miles an hour in Detroit Lakes and Wadena, Alexandria, seeing a gust to 25, 29 mile per hour gusts in Jamestown and again in Grand Forks as well. The good news, the wind really subsiding overnight, going calm. It's something we haven't seen in quite a few days. Here's a look at our first alert forecast. We're staying sunny. The wind's going lighter with clear conditions, calm conditions. We're looking at colder conditions heading into our Wednesday morning. Temperature is going to be in the upper 20s and low 30s, which is actually very close to average for this time of year. Here in Fargo, our average low is right around 31 degrees. The afternoon tomorrow, we're going to be warming up above average. By lunchtime, mostly sunny, and we're going to see temperatures generally in the 50s. A few more warming up into the 60s. In fact, most of us warming up at least into the low 60s by mid afternoon. A south breeze starts to kick up a little bit out to the west by the afternoon and a few more clouds start to build in. But most of our Wednesday going to be mostly sunny. So temperatures this afternoon have been in the 50s and 60s. More of us are going to see those 60s for tomorrow. Then we start to see that rainier trend moving on in. The first half of Thursday looking pretty good, but by late Thursday night, those rain chances starting to ramp up, looking pretty soggy Friday into Saturday, at least the first half of Saturday. A bit of a break and then another system brings additional rain Sunday into Monday of next week. So here's a little play by play uh, over the course of the weekend, going to see those showers moving through. We can't rule out a couple of rumbles of thunder. Uh, the better chance for that is going to be on Friday. So there's that brief break Sunday or excuse me, Saturday night into Sunday morning, but then that next wave of moisture moving in for Sunday evening. As for model comparisons, starting to come into a little bit more of agreement on how much rain we'll see a good bet that many locations seeing around a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Of course, we'll continue to watch that trend as well. As far as temperatures trending cooler during those rainy days, Friday through about Monday, but then Bobby, we start to warm back up more 60s and 70s with drier conditions expected later next week. Well, definitely with a 65 and that's 75 still looking pretty good. A lot of people are going to be, uh, especially I'm going to want to be getting outside. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a little windy on Thursday, but that's nothing we aren't familiar with. So. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Summer, well, you also know who's getting outside. Check this out. One furry little guy decided to enjoy his time oh, in a tree. Look at that. This was sent to us from McIntosh, Minnesota today. A nearby dog didn't quite like the visitor too much, Wonder though. You not. might be able to hear the dog growling in the video. Now, the Minnesota DNR says that if you see a bear like this, do not approach it. It might look cute and cuddly, but do not. Now, the woman who took this video says that she took it safely in her car, but still, look. <laughs> It, so it is cute. it is very cute. No doubt. Hope he's having fun up there. He definitely is. <laughs> Summer, thank you so much.